What's up techies, we're talking about the screwed ROM for the Nexus 6P. This has been my daily driver ROM for about three weeks now, and let me tell you, it's been a great experience. It is jam packed full of features and there's lots of customization that you can do. Let's go ahead and jump on into this because there's a lot to talk about. First of all, I kind of want to just talk about how I got this set up. It does have CM theme engine, that's what you've seen here. This is a theme and I got some icon packs. I'll leave the links down below in the description of what I'm running and what I'm using. But this brings up a good point because the developer just went back to CM theme engine with this recent release and he was using layers, which is a pretty cool feature. I was just kind of dabbing into it, but the developer expressed that CM theme engine was just a better fit for this ROM. If you want to check out themes, one of the best ways that you can do that is just go into the settings, bring it up and you're going to see themes right here. And it's going to see whatever you have installed. So obviously you got the system, which is the screwed one. Then I got the Kai UI. That's what I'm running. That's the theme that you've seen right here. And I must say, I really like this theme a lot. This theme looks really cool. It's got some nice little headers here. It just gives a nice new vibe. I really like it. I'm, I'm digging it for sure. You can see here that it kind of changes the colors. And I'm not going to get into a whole like theme review of this particular theme, but I really like it. And what's really cool is just being able to load this with this ROM on here and get some new, really cool, fresh looking looks. All right, so back to the ROM itself. It's gonna be running the latest Android version of what I've got running here. So let's go back to the settings. As you can see here, you got Android version 6.0.1. Scrolling down, you can see the base, the kernel, the screwed version, the build number, and so forth. So I am on the latest as of this video. Let's just go through some of the settings so that we can kind of see what it looks like. You know, obviously I got the theme going on here and if you need to change back to the theme, it's really easy. You just go back to this and select the different elements that you want to change or change back. That's all you got to do. The assortment doesn't change, just the look. So obviously you got your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, all that kind of good stuff up here. Then you got your screwed settings. And this is where you get into some of the nice nitty gritty kind of details that you want to get full customization with this ROM. All right, so let's go over some of the screwed settings to kind of give you an idea of what it comes with. User interface, this is a lot of nice little stuff here because you can change the quick settings, status bar icons, carrier label, double tap to sleep. I really like that feature. What's neat about the double tap to sleep is that because the Nexus 6P has the fingerprint sensor on the back, you can double tap the screen to make it go to sleep. You can double tap to make it awake. Other functions that you got is brightness control. I like that. Clock and day features, you can center the clock. I really like center clock. It's just one of those old school features that I just like to stick around. A bunch of other different options here. You can change the color and all that kind of stuff too. Breathing notifications, that's pretty neat. You can show the notification counts. I don't do that because I'm just OCD about notifications. You got some battery options. Like I like the circle battery with the percentage on the inside. You can do a custom header image show the weather and basically that's what you're going to see right here you can show the weather on this side more information on the status bar nav bar this is a pretty cool feature here you got enabled left-handed mode which is a nice feature to have and i'm just going to briefly go through some of these features so that way you can kind of see what the highlights are and some of the features that you might be looking for in this with that said you can go to the link in the description of this video and it's kind of a full list of all the features so i could go through every single one but we might be here an hour and i don't know about you but i don't get the time to sit around and make an hour-long video so with that said again back to this kind of stuff very cool stuff you can do search bar memory bar clear button i love the clear all button because it's just something i really like using a lot you know omni switch and the slim recents your battery bar you can have a battery bar location the power button animation, you got AOSP default, bottom, top, and rotation. I like the AOSP default, but you can change it if you like to. You can also disable the animations, turn it on. You got system animations, so many different stuff that you can do with this. This is, like I said, a fully loaded ROM. You got gesture anywhere, you can turn that on and do all kinds of stuff, but I normally just have that off. Some people like it, I just don't ever really use it that much. Another cool feature that a lot of people look for is Pi controls, and you got that right here as well. And that was just the user interface settings. We have all this to go left, <laughs> so it's, it's amazing what you could do. Power menu, this is one of the things I look for all the time. I love the advanced reboot. Basically, whenever you hold down the power button, you get a bunch of options here. You got your reboot, and that brings up even more options, and that's how I personally like to get into my recovery. Now, you can also do some different functions here as well. You got power off, screenshot. I really like having a screenshot there because it's my preferred one-handed method to get a screenshot captured. You can also do some sound profiles. 
I don't use it that much, but I just like having it there just in case. And if you want to do some other options like screen recording, on the go mode, airplane mode, sound panel, and so forth, lots of options to choose from. Your battery light, you got some options here as well. Down onto the notifications, the quick pull down. This is another simple feature that I look for. It's when you pull down from the right hand side, you get your full menu access. I really like that because when I want to get to all this stuff right here, I just have one action. Otherwise, it's gonna look like this. You can get your notifications, but then you gotta pull down again to get to that stuff. So what I do and how I organize it is basically I pull down from this side if I just wanna to get to my notifications. If I wanna to get to my shortcuts, I go over here. Brightness slider, I like that a lot. That's basically right here if you wanna manually adjust your brightness, which is perfect for making these videos because I need to tone it down a bit so I can see these nice colors. And some other stuff here, you got heads up, force expansion, notification, notification lights, lots of different options here. Now lock screen, this is gonna have a bunch of other options here as well. Like I said, man, this thing is just packed full of features. Really liking this ROM a lot. So if you wanna add some more shortcuts to your lock screen, you can do that. You can do bottom shortcuts as well. And that's gonna be basically this area. The way I have it set up is for my phone and obviously you're gonna to have to access the phone. So you're still gonna to have to do that but it does take me to my dialer and I can access it relatively quick that way. The other thing is my camera. It's just one of those things I kind of got used to having it there, so I always use it, even though I know I can double tap the power button to get to those shortcuts. And the blur feature is a nice little touch that you can do. Media cover art, really like that. You got weather options, you can show the weather. I actually normally have that toggled on, but I guess I just didn't for this time around. But yeah, it's like lots of cool stuff that you could get on your lock screen. Your IME options are listed here. And then you got some miscellaneous ones here. You got multi-window, really cool feature that a lot of people like to activate. You can do that there. You got toast icon as well. But that's not it. You can go down to themes, as I said before, and you can download some more. If you want to get more, you just hit the button here. And it takes you to the Play Store, or you can go from the CM Wiki. You got some theme packs. You got styles, icons, fonts, wallpapers, tons and tons of stuff. Some other options built in that you might notice that you don't get somewhere else. And this has been a really cool feature and it's worked better without the theme, but the theme here, you can do a light and dark or automatic. Automatic is really cool because when it gets to a certain time of day, the notifications and all that kind of stuff turn to a dark theme instead of light. During the daytime, it's a light theme. Really cool because during the daytime, it's lighter out, you know, it might be indoors and so forth. It actually makes it easier to read. So I really like how they do that. It's one of my top favorite features about this ROM is having that automatic theme built in. Really cool, I love that theme. This ROM has run really well for me. I would say the battery life isn't as great as what I've experienced with other ROMs, but it's not terribly bad. It's just not as good as what I've experienced with the other ones. Let's go ahead and check out the battery stats real quick. I'm at 24%, says I got four hours left. You can kind of see the decline here. There hasn't been a moment to where I was able to use Android Doze because I was just really out and about today. It wasn't on a flat surface for really any amount of time today at all. So I'd say it's pretty good. You know, I took this thing off the charger. It was before 8 a.m. I know that much because I get up before that. Got to be work at 8 o'clock. So it was probably about, I don't know, about 7.15ish or maybe 7 o'clock is when I took it off the charger. And I still got 24% left. It's currently 737, so that's over 12 hours of battery life. That's what I want out of a phone. That's what I want to get. I don't want to be having to charge my phone when I get home. If I were able to have some doze times, the battery life would have been even better today. But normally, it is actually better than what you see here. As far as snappiness goes, it's really cool. I like it. One of the things that I really want to see out of this ROM in the future is to have Android Pay working. Currently, it does not work. And it says here, Android Pay cannot be used. It's a bummer, but it's not a deal breaker. This is definitely a ROM worth checking out. I really, really like it. If you're interested in downloading this ROM, I'll leave a link down below in the description. If you want to download and install this, just follow the instructions that the developer has. That's what you want to do every time. I definitely recommend checking this ROM out. It's been a great experience. I don't think you can go wrong with it. Tons and tons and tons of options. Very good ROM. So go ahead and check it out. Again, links down below in your description. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I definitely appreciate it. 
You're gonna to wanna to subscribe to this channel so you can continue to watch the ROM video series. I've enjoyed doing this series so far, so I'm looking forward to the next one. If you have any suggestions about any ROMs that you wanna see in near future videos, leave a comment down below and leave a link to that ROM if you don't mind as well. And until then, stay techy.